it's good news that we heard from Con Ed. Um, I just uh, flew over the city and the most of the lights are back on, that's clear. It's also clear that not all the lights are back on. There are a lot of traffic signals that are out. Uh, still, the roads are chaotic. So uh, we would not encourage New Yorkers to go out if you don't have to go out. Let all the power get back on. Let's stabilize the situation uh, because it is, it is chaotic now uh, on the west side, certainly. Uh, I want to commend all the emergency workers uh, who did a fantastic job. Uh, the NYPD, the state police, the state power officials, uh, all the emergency workers. This could have been much worse. When you're talking about a city like New York with a significant piece of the city basically suffering a blackout, uh, that could be a very chaotic situation. Uh, we saw the exact opposite, actually. We saw New Yorkers at their best. We saw New Yorkers helping other New Yorkers. Uh, stories of New Yorkers getting out and, and managing traffic at intersections. Uh, New Yorkers helping neighbors. New Yorkers bringing neighbors who had medical devices that needed power uh, to places where they could get power. So. Uh, I applaud all New Yorkers. When things are at their worst, New Yorkers are at their best, and they were at their best tonight. Uh, as I said, job one is restore the power, get it up and running, and make sure that's 100%. Job two is uh, finding out exactly what happened. I'm going to go with Mr. McAvoy, and we're going to look at the first transformer that blew tonight. Uh, we have to make sure the system is designed in a way that this does not happen. When you are talking about a blackout or a potential blackout or significant area of the city having a blackout, you are, uh, you are really dealing with potential chaos and public safety threats, and the system has to be better than that, period, period. And uh, we're going to work with Con Ed, but that's what New Yorkers deserve, and that's what New Yorkers will get. Governor, I'll turn it back. There's been a lot of discussion in the country about our aging infrastructure. Do you believe that could have played a role in this? And, and how can you address that when you're dealing with the electric grid? Yeah, the, uh, this is not going to be a question, I believe, of aging infrastructure. Uh, Con Edison routinely upgrades their equipment, changes their equipment. Uh, the maintenance level is very high. The Con Ed is a utility, but people pay for their power, and that funding goes to Con Ed. And Con Ed, uh, one of their missions is to make sure the system is always 100% operational. All the backups are in place. The best design is in place. So if one substation fails, you don't have a domino of other substations. This is not the first time that I've been with Mr. McAvoy going to look at a substation that failed, right? I've seen this movie. Uh, and the system has to be designed in a way that one substation can fail, but it doesn't domino, it doesn't ripple, and we have to have a system that has redundancy and has backups. Uh, we were lucky tonight, and again, the emergency workers did a great job, but we don't have any reports of people stuck on subway trains. That could have very well happened. People could be stuck in elevators. People could be uh, in hospitals or nursing homes that don't have backup generators. So this is a potentially very <coughs> dangerous situation. And uh, we have to make sure it doesn't happen again. And the system is designed in such a way that it doesn't happen again. Are you saying anything to New Yorkers tonight? Should they keep their power down? Should they not use as much? Is there anything like that, that there's a potential for any other further problems? Yeah, Con Ed has said it was not, Con Ed has said it was not a load issue. Uh, we're not in the summer months. There wasn't a high use of air conditioners. It was basically a, a quiet, fairly quiet weekend night for New York City anyway. Uh, I would say uh, stay off the roads. The, there are many traffic lights that are still out, and that is pandemonium. Even with New Yorkers at their best, and they have been, uh, it is still chaotic. And until the system is up 100%, uh, 
It's late at night. Stay in, go to sleep, uh, but let the system become fully operational before you venture out. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.